Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Head Trip Air World Tour. In Cologne, Germany, uh, in our Milnev, I guess it's our Blackbird uh, 310R. And um, looking forward to a nice flight up through uh, Dusseldorf to the northwest and then uh, moving on to the Netherlands and Amsterdam. So that's kind of the plan today. We're not going to do a formal flight plan. Um, we're just going to kind of see where the wind takes us. Um, and so I think this is our second official flight in the 310R. Um, nice little plane, pretty sensitive. Bops up and down with the wind. Uh, which uh, reminds me, we probably ought to take a look at our winds right now. So uh, right now, weather shows in Cologne temperature of 4 Celsius, we're about uh, 39 degrees, we're not freezing, and so we shouldn't uh, uh, hopefully have too many problems, but we'll see. Uh, dew point is 2, uh, humidity 87%, okay, interesting, and then uh, altimeter 29er83. Um, what I was looking for though is winds. Where, oh, there it is. There it is. Up the top. Six knots. Hey, I can live with that. That's fantastic. Okay, so with that said, um, let's hop on our plane and uh, start getting things set up, shall we? We will uh, remove our engine covers. Looks like we've got everything secured up pretty well on our plane. Um, I noticed with this particular airport we have a little choppy frame rate, so I've worked and worked. Um, sorry, it's not the GPU, it's the CPU, nothing I can do about it. It is, it just is what it is. You know, I could, I could uh, stand around here the rest of my life trying to figure that stuff out, and it just, uh, I just can't do it. So let's take the engine covers off. There we go. And the intake covers off. And our pedo covers off. Wheel chocks off. And uh, the very last, we're going to take our control lock off here. I've got a little bit of baggage in the rear baggage area, so just to give you an idea where that is, rear baggage door, right over here, just one piece of baggage in there. Got about just under a half tank of uh, gas in each of the tanks, and uh, aircraft is fairly clean. We're under our ownership mode, so state saving enabled, and then um, realism when it comes to engines, systems, wear and tear, etc. And everything looks fantastic from our last inspection. So, with that said, I think we're on to uh, getting the plane set up for takeoff. Let's uh, get the battery on quickly here. And uh, nav lights. Check the gas. Looks like we're good to go. What is that? Test our. Emergency lights. Looks like everything's working as expected. I 
most important part of the flight, and that is getting our customized stickers in place. Right? There we go. Uh, our fuel selectors here. Gonna make sure we get those to the main tanks. collision and her strobe let's get our alternators on left engine magnetos and we want to make sure the cow flaps are pulled unlocked set primer to the left engine and let's try to start this thing up Come on now. What are we missing? Oh, I know what we're missing. I know what we're missing. Quite significant. We need to get our mixture up. Our props up all the way and our uh, throttle up a little bit. That should help. Oh my goodness brakes okay that's one thing we didn't have is our emergency brake set that would be uh, an important thing to accomplish let's see what the damage is ah, luckily not too much freaking goodness that's why you want to make sure you've gone through the checklist which I did not do should have but I didn't Just check our gauges. Okay, I'm gonna leave gauge up here to about 17. And uh, this guy down to uh, about 12, I wanna say. This is what it's supposed to be, I thought. That's what I thought it was when we're starting up, but I'll have to double check that. I think that's the case. All right, let's uh, prime the right pump. And get the fuel pump running on low for the left, and then we'll start the right. Oh, whoops, magnetos. There we go. get the fuel pump fuel pump running on the low setting for the right engine okay now let's just check everything so far so good let's come over and get our avionics on heat on and while we're thinking about it probably not a bad idea to get our uh, cabin air heated up a little bit on this frosty and cold day OK, 
Okay. Look to be in pretty good shape, I think. Um, let's see what we have up here. Calm ones are on. Okay. Going to come over and set the altimeter. In order to do that, we're going to need to get some aid settings. So, uh, lucky for me, I think I've got uh, ATIS down here. Or maybe we don't get ATIS at this airport. Hmm. However, from our meter readings, we get an um, altimeter of 2983. So, let's set the 2983. One, two, three. Now, uh, we're at an altitude, I believe, of... Uh, where was it? Where did I see it? Airport's at an altitude. Or elevation of 302 feet. Right now, that's not reading... Uh, that's not reading 302, so I'm uh, slightly concerned that our altimeter is set correctly. I know the on the charts, the elevation is 230 for the runway on one side. On the other side, it goes up to 302. But I'm not trusting the... Um, I'm not trusting the altimeter settings on uh, Navigraph. And let me show you what I'm looking at here. This is just the uh, airport information weather meter. And uh, it's giving me a 2983. But I'm pretty sure that's not legitimate. Pretty sure. Um, there is an ATIS on 132.13, according to the chart. 13213 let's see if we can connect to it um, I would think we could but we'll find out here in just a moment 13213 let's tune up there. Let's change that to the active frequency and see if anything happens. in the in the sim is at 121.855, which is interesting. There is a 121.855 on the chart. It doesn't show up necessarily as ATIS, but it's uh, Cologne Bond Delivery. So anyways, um, that's not ATIS. Let's come in here, see what we're doing. Let's tune to ground. Tune. Here we go. Eight is at 132.13. I see. It's, it's not an audible ATIS, so it's going to give us that information down here. Uh, visually. Sky condition clear. Wind at 6, not bad. Temperature 15 Celsius, assuming. 2.13, altimeter 2992. That's our problem. Let's go up to 2992. 
that looks a little more accurate to me, about uh, 210 feet-ish. Something like that, 210, 220, so I'm glad it checked. All right. I do need to check for taxi quickly here. Let's see, before taxi. Taxiing, we want mixtures lean, throttles as required. Mm, no, I want more information than that. It's somewhere here. Wheel chocks removed, lights as required, avionics set. Flaps up. Both throttles, 800 to 1,000 rotations per minute. Let's just double check that real quickly. Um, so probably down a little bit. This needs to come down, but probably mixture up a little bit. All right. bring this down to eight and hopefully we don't stall out maybe we'll go up to nine right in the middle we're on full prop our mixture is uh, technically right now our mixture would be at full rich full rich Your mixture, just make sure that doesn't come back down. And then for taxiing, mixture is going to come lean for taxi. Okay. I don't want, I don't know what is considered lean. Let's bring it down a bit. I just don't want to stall my engine. Okay. I think that's where we're supposed to be. Now with the mixture down, now we need to come back up with the, there we go. That makes more sense. rotations are supposed to be around eight-ish. Okay. And that puts our manifold right up there in the middle. So maybe that makes some more sense. One, one of these days I'll understand engines. Don't know exactly how they work. Okay, so we just want to get a taxi clearance really now. That's really all we want. Tune to ground. And let's get a taxi out to the east. Out the east, west. Add an hour ground Charlie Bravo Bravo Sierra with Lima request taxi to the active departure to the west. And we're going to get a taxi and hold to short of runway 32R using taxi, taxiway K1TDAA3 cross 32RA. Contact tower 12498 when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway tree 2 right using taxiway kilo 1 tango delta alpha alpha tree cross runway tree 2 right alpha bravo bravo sierra. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be just uh, flipping around here, going up this taxiway, 
all the way down crossing the runway here moving all the way down 30 to our <clears throat> to our hold sh short point uh, right here that is the plan Stan so let's get our feet on the pedals <clears throat> get prepped to uh, taxi here Make sure that's working all right. Comfortable enough, I suppose. Let's go ahead and take off our parking brake. And we'll throttle up here a little bit. Just gonna kind of do a hard turn here. Make sure we're not gonna hit anybody. We'll find the taxi line out here. to the right and we have a long taxi down here towards the uh, southeast now one thing we did fail to do and that is get our taxi lights on and that's a no-no so let's fix that With these little GA planes, uh, um, I mean, obviously we have our airspeed over here, but I, uh, I'm curious how we have our detailed airspeed. I'm sure it's going to be down here on our avionics somewhere. So we'll figure that out maybe before we take off. Three 
Berlin and we came from Alpha Yankee to GA Sector 1. Expect the marshal. And we're actually climbing a, on a little bit of an incline, you can tell. Not too bad, though. We'll stop here for a moment before we cross the runway. Take a quick look to the left. To the right. No traffic appears to be a problem. Slight decline here. We're going to go all the way to the end. We'll just kind of coast our way in here. Wind looking great. That's what we want to see. That should uh, facilitate a little bit easier of a takeoff. Almost there. And we'll break right here at our old shore point. Get the parking brake on just for a second. Let's get our takeoff clearance. At our tower, Charlie Bravo Bravo Sierra ready for departure to the west at runway train to right. I 
altimeter, 299 or 2. I feel like my radio's not up. I'm making my calls, but... I don't, I don't know why I'm not hearing him. I have to figure that one out. Is my speaker off? Ah, that was why. My speaker was off. Cleared for takeoff. Two nine or nine or two. That looks good. And um, I think that's it. Now take off, just quickly. I think it'll help be helpful to uh, make sure our throttles are set. So throttles set at 1700 RPM. Well, let's get lined up first, actually. Let's get lined up, then we'll deal with this. Parking brake off. And let's move along. All right. Oh, goodness. Get ourselves lined up here. Wow. Okay. Um, let's bring that checklist back real quickly. We want our throttle RPMs at 1,700, so let's just check that quickly. RPMs at 1,700, wow, okay, all the way up here. Where's our mixtures set for field elevation? So the mixtures are going to be pretty low, I think. I don't know how to equate these to field elevations, but I'm going to keep it pretty low. But our RPMs need to be up quite a bit. And I think I, I hope I just installed the machine. Yeah, I did. I just installed this. That's great. That's great. Let's try this again. Let's get it started again. Right. And left. Let's check this over here again. Okay, so our RPMs are up quite a bit. We're like up to uh, 17. And it says check the alternators. Make sure we're not moving. Make sure we're not moving. Alternators, alternators, alternators. Alternator uh, left and alternator right seem to be doing okay, I believe. Vacuum system, magnetos, check 150 RPM max. Propellers checked 1200 RPM, so let's bring this down to 1200. Oh my goodness. Hundred RPM. Seem to be okay, I think. Throttles back to 800. So that was more of an alternator test than anything else. 
Throttles at 800. Um, flight tabs, free and clear. Flight, flight controls check, free and correct. Trim tabs. Yeah, let me check my trim. That's a good point. Trim is a little whack, I think. I'm just going to set it in neutral. Hopefully neutral is where we want to be. Trim tab set. Cal flaps is locked fully open. Fuel selectors. Full wings up. Doors locked. Lights on is required. Fuel pumps at low. Mixture set for filled. Brakes release. So I think that's propellers. Check to 1200 RPM. Okay, so propellers checked at 1200 RPM. I'm not 100% sure. There we go. I think we keep those a ridge. I think we keep those a ridge. So, all right. So I think that's going to get us where we want to be. Hopefully, we're gonna um, rotate at uh, about 80 knots which is going to be uh, right here. That line right there is where we want to rotate, so let's keep our eye on that. In fact, let's let's do this. Let's just kind of zoom in a little bit. Actually, I'm having a hard time seeing those. Let's put some lights on them. I don't know if it's just because it's the time of day, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get some lights on in here so I can see. A little bit better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay. Brakes off. And we're on our way. Let's see if we can keep this flight straight. And there's 80. Okay. Gear up. Dusseldorf. I'm going to trim down just a little bit and get my nose down just a tad. Bad. There's a little better than mine. 
That's the price of obtaining fuel. Beautiful river. And the town down below with all the bridges. Let's trim down even more, see if we can get a better view. Cathedral right down there. I'll have to look up and see what one that is. And then this little uh, feature down here, like the, the kind of like the, uh, what's my call it? The uh, Space Needle. Seems like Germany has a lot of those. thousand feet I'd like to kind of follow the Rhine and get down a little bit lower and see if we can get some nice scenery so a couple ways to do that let's drop our throttles let her nose dip
looks like a lot of industry in these towns. With um, Dusseldorf straight ahead. Pretty flat territory out here this way. I know we got some foothills and mountains down below, which I'm excited to get to, but uh, it's nice to take a nice stroll without the worry of uh, any problems with elevation. Right over here, got a uh, bridge, pretty cool little bridge.
And then up ahead, we've got two, uh, Duisburg. here or else I'm going to run into problems. A lot of industry. Tons of industry in this uh, part of town. I was reading online, um, looked like uh, this got pretty heavily bombed in World War II because of uh, the major steel industry here. Let's see if I can keep my...
to the west now a little bit and uh, head towards the Netherlands and Amsterdam, which will be our next destination. If the Netherlands are anything, they are flat as a pancake. I wonder if there's <clears throat> any type of terrain elevation changes or anything. In the, I mean, it looks just flat as flat gets. Get a 
Getting close to uh, the border between Germany and the Netherlands, right up here. Yeah. 
I'm here. This uh, plane's been rolling a little bit to the left, so I'm going to come down here and uh, roll it just a tad to the right and see if that helps.
might be catching a sunset here. My guess is we will be. About 300 degrees northwest towards Amsterdam. Hopefully we get there before dusk so we can see the city. But you know what, it might not be bad seeing the city in lights as well. I'm going to get my uh, internal cockpit lights just a little brighter here on some of these, because why not? Below, we have, uh, I should say, below and behind us is Arnhem. thousand feet. That works. Might drop a little bit here. Just gonna dip my nose down. I'm 
I'm rolling a little bit too much to the right now, so let's fix that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Getting that centered is not an easy task. out here. Down there, uh, town Amersfoort. Right there. To the left. I'm going to drop my nose a little bit more. 